What's up guys, this is Big Worm 380 and we are gonna play some PC Building Simulator. Now I know you're probably thinking, what the, what? But I saw this, uh, I was watching, I don't know if you guys know who Jay's Two Cents is. He does P real PC builds and stuff and he actually tried this game. He did a stream on it. I didn't watch the stream, I saw the video later. But uh, it looked kind of fun. Uh, if you like building PCs, this game's not that bad. Uh, it is a uh, preview or early access on Steam and it's 20 bucks, so I thought, what the hell, I'll try it out, and it's actually kind of fun. I, and I was worried, you have a free build mode right here, and I was worried that's all it was, was just you go in and just build PC, virtual PCs, and but but that's not the case. It's got a career mode where you actually take over a uh, PC shop, and you have to fill work orders and troubleshoot problems with PCs and stuff like that. So I've already played a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and start a new game so we can start right at the beginning. And... Okay, to begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the program on the desktop. You've got mail. Okay. So, Timbo, welcome to your uh, new PC shop. Thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well, and there's no money in the bank account. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. Uh, I had a job on the go which should help with the rent. See the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU. I almost always forget. I've actually done this several times in the game already, but it kind of holds your hand on that. It doesn't actually let you send it off like that. Um, so I think you're all set up uh, at your company now, so run it how you see fit. Hope you did better than I did. Lots of love, uh, love, Uncle Tim. I had to borrow $15 for fuel. You know how it is. All right. Uh, I'm all, I'm just going to kind of throw out some tips as we go along. Um, an email like that, you read it once, you don't need it anymore. Go ahead and discard it because your email is going to fill up quick, real quick. Um, so virus scan, remove the viruses. Uh, hi, Tim. Hope you can help me. My computer's been running slower than usual. I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Yeah, so you click go to, I was just standing right here, but if you click go to PC, it'll go out here, whatever email you're on, or if it's on the table uh, over there, then uh, you can, uh, it'll it'll take you right to it. That way you kind of, you don't go over to the wrong PC, I guess, once you, because you, here's your shop. Uh, I never have unlocked this yet. I think I barely made it to level six on my other playthrough, or I was at almost six. Um, I did unlock this second workbench, but uh, you have to be level three for that, and you'll see why. Because you usually have, if you have nothing going on, uh, or, or you get everything finished in a day and send send it off and get paid, then you'll usually have three more coming in. So three would be ideal, but you can only, you have to be level eight to get that one, so that takes a while. Um, level three, we'll, we should be able to do that pretty quick. All right, so just click on it. Uh, for this job, you need a virus scan. Okay, so um, we're gonna go to install, and this USB drive here is what you need, and you just right-click and drag the uh, computer tower around to get to it. Hold that, and then you've got to hit cables. <laughs> Um, and there's, I'm going to show you guys also, there's, there's upgrades you can purchase in the shop on the, uh, on the computer over here that help you do stuff. And eventually if you get enough money, you can make it where cables automatically connect and screws on stuff automatically go in, which makes it nice. So you don't have to mess with all that. So, uh, turn the PC on. I remap my P is the power button. I put it on Q and then exit out of stuff. I think is E by default, but yeah, that way you don't have to reach, you know. Welcome to the Omega OS, the operating system of choice. Click on add remove programs to install the virus scanner. Don't forget to restart the PC after it is installed. Okay, so these are the programs on the USB thumb drive and we want the virus scanner. So we're gonna install this. Restart now. Yes. Every time you install any of the softwares off this, you got to restart. It's at first I thought, oh, that's kind of cool because you do that in real life, but then it kind of gets annoying later. So you clean files and uh, just close that out. Exit. Okay. So, and then you can stand in front of the computer and it'll tell you your objectives. 
uh, PC can boot to OS and remove viruses. So I've done that and it says leave by the door. Now, what I was doing originally, I was actually powering this off, removing my thumb drive and un taking all the cables off, but you can actually just right click on it and it puts your thumb drive back in your inventory and then you can just, uh, you know, pick it up. Great, now you just need to collect your pay, go to your email and hit collect. So after the job is done and you've got the PC sitting by the door, um, you'll see that this email is green now and it says collect. So I get a hundred bucks. I was negative 15, thanks Uncle Tim. And uh, so then this one's done. Once you've received the payment for it, go ahead and just discard it. I uh, just want to say thank you for fixing my PC, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I got my first three other jobs here. Okay, so we're done with that one. Um, install Mortini, Easy Store, 500 gigabyte. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, customer's PC take a day to arrive, so in the current day. Okay, now here's what you want to do. You're going to get into a point where you may have, you, you'll have multiple PCs, like tomorrow in the game, I'll have multiple PCs going here. These are going to show up. I already know this is telling me exactly what to order, so I can literally order this right now, which I'm going to. Let's see what these other ones are. Could you have a look at my PC, please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it. I've probably not been taken care of. It looks a bit dirty. Okay, so that's going to be an easy one. Uh, remove viruses. Uh, replace the graphics card. Install a Sean or Sheen GeForce GTX Gamer or better. Okay, so we need to get the 500 gigabyte hard drive. So you go to shop right here. And let's go to graphics cards. And the fir every time you level up or whatever, as you progress in the game, you unlock more stuff. So she wanted, or he wanted, Queen Brittany wanted the GTX 970 gamer version. So we want this one. So 265. And then uh, what was the other thing? The 500 gigabyte, right? This is the part I'm bad about. I've actually had to write this shit down, make a list of parts, because it's just like in real life, too. Uh, when you're when you're ordering stuff, time your delivery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can pay more for uh, faster delivery. So I, I screwed up one time, because some of these jobs will come in and they'll give you a deadline date. Like, these don't have one, but, you know, I don't even have the computers yet. But sometimes part of the objective will be have it done by this date. So, you know, I screwed up and sat on one of them, like, one day too long, and I had to order something the same day, but that's 100 bucks. Now, really, if you're if you're ordering anything, really, it's where I, I order everything for the next day. Uh, I don't do the three to five working days because it's, that just slows you down because you don't get your next job till you finish the one. Each job you finish, you get another one. So the faster you bang them out, then the better you get, you are. Okay, so as you can see, I only had $85 and I just spent 300 and something. So I've only got 260 bucks. Now, that's not a, I, I was afraid to do that at first, but uh, here's the bank. Here at Megacorp, we understand, we know that life doesn't always run smoothly. We provide a be a free overdraft for all our customers. Your free overdraft limit is a thousand. Okay, so if you've got zero dollars, you're even right here. You've got a thousand to work with. I wouldn't, I'd try to get out of that, but right here at the beginning, I don't think there's any way around it. I think they force you into doing that so you can learn that. Um, okay, so we're going to exit here, and here's your calendar. And then see this, this shows you the jobs or the PCs that will be showing up in yellow the next day. And then here is the green stuff is your delivery of your stuff you ordered today. Or, you know, or if I'd have done the three to five business days, it, it would, the green stuff would be over here to here or something like that. So, uh, and another thing, just a little tip, uh, it's a pain in the ass and I'm going to forget to do it a lot. Shut down your PC and turn off your lights before you leave. You don't have to do it every, t every day, but your light bill will go up exponentially if you don't. So you just go to the office door and you uh, end the day and advance to tomorrow. So, and just make sure you got all your parts ordered. That's the main thing. So you go here to the calendar, you end day, 
Uh, customer's PC is here. Pick it up. Right mouse to take it to your workbench. Okay. Make sure you don't hit skip day or this will go to the next day. Just like that. You hit go to work. Parts are here. All right. We're going to grab our parts first. And let's see. Replace graphics card. Yeah, let's do this one. I did get to the point where I had the second workbench on my first playthrough, and uh, that that made it nice. You could, because sometimes you got to run scans that take a little while, and uh, you know. Okay, so we're gonna replace uh, the thing, the graphics card. So all you do is click on the PC to go here. It starts on the remove tab because typically that's the first thing you're gonna do is remove like case cover or something like that. Uh, so you just hold, and I found out, which is not a huge deal. You have to hold your mouse left or right mouse button on those screws. You can actually hold the mouse button the whole time there's screws and just move it over them and it'll it'll screw them. You don't have to click on each one. All right. And then now that we got the graphics card out, we are going to install and we got to go to graphics card. This is the broken one. Um, you're not going to use that again. So I would just sell it. Make sure you don't sell this one that you just bought for 200 and something dollars because you're only going to get 88. And you just put it in. Throw the screw in. I think that's it. And if you take any parts off of the PC, because, I mean, you can break this thing down all the way. Um, you can remove this and you can remove the drive bays. I mean, you can, everything you see highlighting, you can unplug and, and remove. So what you want to do is... Uh, w when you're done fixing whatever and you're ready to go back and put everything together, you click on install and go to PC parts. That will have all the parts you've taken off that PC. And it doesn't matter if you have two PCs going, whatever PC you're working on, it's only going to show that PC's parts, which, thank God for that. Uh, then we got to hit the cable button. I, I cannot wait to get the cable upgrade because this, this right here, you do this on every single PC. Or at least I have so far. All right. And then we're going to turn the power on. Oh, I need to... this. Oh, this one's done. Okay, I thought I had to scan that one. Okay, so uh, again, I screwed up. I didn't even have to plug it in. Uh, well, actually, I had to plug it in and boot it. But I don't have to scan for nothing. So see, we're done with that one. So I'm going to put that one over here. And... We're going to do this one we'll save the the scan one for last so let's see um what am i doing let me turn the light on see that's that's why i don't like turning the lights off before i leave because then i forget to turn them back on um okay so we are gonna replace the hard drive uh, and i've seen people there's a there's a lot of people that like well, what am i doing i don't need that i need to I took off the wrong thing, which is no big deal. Um, let's see. Exit. I don't know why I took this side off. I wasn't thinking. I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to take off this panel so we can get to the hard drive bay. Okay, so this is... Am I re I'm replacing it, right? Install. Yeah, let me make sure. Because sometimes sometimes they want to upgrade with more memory or more storage. Uh, so, you know, make sure you're doing the right thing. Um, oh, yeah, see? Can you install one alongside my existing drive? So that's what we want to do. Okay, so we've got... Now you go, you got to go to the category of the thing. So we're going to open the drive bay. We're going to install it, close it. And then don't forget, just like real life, you actually have to connect the cables. And then we can put our cover back on. Some people were ragging this game, uh, you know, making fun of it. I think it's fun. I mean, it's 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 one of those time waster addicting games. I want to try something. Okay, that's our that's our monitor. 
because that's going to the graphics card and our power. I think. Do we have to plug the mouse and keyboard in? It won't let you. Uh, see, that would have that saved just a little bit of time. See, you, I mean, in real life, you wouldn't have to plug the mouse and keyboard in just to see if this thing fired up, but, you know, whatever. Okay. So we got that one. I wish, uh, I wish this guy moved slightly faster. So we're going to clean up and scan this one. I'll tell you what, while we're doing it, uh, I usually go over here and collect as I'm going. And then, see, as soon as you, you complete one, you get another one. This one's done. That was the, the graphics card. Okay. Uh... Currently got two. Okay. Those are going to be, uh, what I like to do is fix the ones I have if I can, uh, and then order all the parts at the end and then just have them come the next day. So we got to clean out the dust on this one. Press the install button to get the compressed air from your tools. So the can of air. So we're going to, This is another easy one. They start you off pretty easy. I mean, I don't think any of this is really hard. So a couple of things you get, it, you might be scratching your head because, uh, you know, this this game is preview and it's a PC building simulator. I'd, I've never heard of a game like this before doing this. So um, it's kind of different. And the blowing the dust is kind of weird. It's kind of like. I mean, all of a sudden it'll just do it which is weird. But yeah, as long as you... And then once you get to a point where it looks clean, you just kind of mouse over everything real quick, and, and if it doesn't pop up and say, you know, clean dust or whatever, blow dust, then you got it. Um, So that should be that. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You bastard. Okay, and then uh, before you even go off that, go to tools, grab your USB, because we got to scan for viruses. So, oh, power it up. So as you can see, uh, it booted to the OS, which is good. So all we got left is the virus scan. All that you've been looking at. What have you been doing? Okay. And that one is complete. Leave by the door. So you just throw that down. Go over here. Grab your money. Uh, discard. And so I leveled up. And then at level two, you unlock all this stuff here. And I think... I could be wrong. I'm assuming everything's unlocked in the free build mode right off the bat. I don't know, though. Uh, I haven't even gone into the free build mode. To me, I don't. that part of it doesn't even... I'm glad they made this career mode, because uh, that, that would get boring really quick. I'm not very good with computers, but mine isn't working properly. It's been getting very hot lately and running slower and slower. I don't think I can hear the fan anymore. It lives on the floor of my dusty office. I hope it's not clogged up. If you do have to replace the fan, please pick the cheapest one. I cannot afford anything fancy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you, I'm going to fucking get the cheapest one. Okay, so again, I like to keep my email shit cleaned up because you will you could have, I mean, you're going to get where you have multiple emails in here, uh, more than this, actually. So we will do that one. We're going to do all these. Uh, that one's in transit, in transit. So what do we need to order? 
Uh, I've currently got two gigabytes of two gigabytes of RAM and four RAM slots, and they want sixteen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two eights. Uh, that's a virus scan, and this is a possible fan. We don't we don't know if the fan's bad yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on ordering a fan because it's it's hard to get ahead on here as far as the uh, as far as the money. I mean, you you I'll get about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars probably here in a little bit, but then you start you know more expensive parts, and then my problem is I fuck up and order the wrong stuff, or I order two of one thing one time on accident. I don't know. Okay, so this guy doesn't have a clue. It doesn't sound like. So I could go with the cheaper stuff, most likely, uh, which is this stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. So one, two. And next day, make sure this is checked, too, because so, I never take it off of this. I, I did the next day delivery right off the bat and found I like doing that. But then later on, it seemed like I'd order something, and for some reason, it defaulted to three to five working days. So it doesn't necessarily stay there. So make sure you check that each time. And that's why I like ordering stuff at the end, because you're going to pay the $30. You might as well order as much as you can and pay the 30 bucks once. Okay, so your order will arrive tomorrow. Um, in transit, in transit. We're good. Okay, uh, I'm just going to turn the lights off. I'm not turning the PC off. Uh, all right. And let's go to work. So we have our parts. And. Hmm. PC can boot to OS. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do this one. This is probably going to be the last one I'm going to do for this video because uh, this is kind of a troubleshooting one. Like I said, this is still early on, so this is real basic. Um, so, you know. Okay, obviously it needs to be dusted. But let's see what it, let's see what it does first. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, see, and, and see, that's that's the only thing I don't like. I guess being the early, a very early job, it, it you should have went ahead. I should have went ahead and ordered the cooler because, see, now that's an objective. So that's definitely going to be the problem. So actually, I don't even need to be doing this one. Um, tell you what. I'm going to knock these out real quick and then I'm going to order the part and then I'll come back whenever the next day when I'm ready to do that one. Okay guys, we are back. Uh this is the cooler that I had to order and this was one that I got for another job. So, yeah. And I'm going to show y'all a funny kind of a funny one that you know, if if this is available to happen to you later, I'm going to end up doing it. Um, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so got to zoom in a little bit. Uh, just like in real life, this is the air cooler change out. Uh, and I need to dust this. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna dust this thing first. I guess you can hold the button and just move it around. Yeah, I wish the dusting. Because it's not even making a noise. That would help. Like, and then maybe once the noise stops, you know you're done. I don't know. Okay, but, uh, yeah. So, just like in real life, you have to unplug shit before you... Because, see, like, I can't remove it. It won't let me remove it until I go up. And it's showing you the, the, the cable there in red. And then when you click on it, now it's removed. Now you can pull that. Okay, now here's what you... Obviously, and another thing, just like in real life you have to make sure you put thermal paste down. Um, it, I've forgotten it, I don't know how many, and I sell all that broken shit off. I think I said that earlier. So we put our thing back in, and then you have to go to cable, and boom. So 
the game kind of holds your hand, but you do have to remember to do it because I've, I've done this on other jobs or whatever, replace the CPU or a, a cooler or something. And I forgot to do the thermal paste and it'll let you put it all back together wrong, but it won't let you send it back off because it, it'll, it'll fail when you test it basically. So we're going to install. Uh, cables. And power it up. All right. And that one is done. So, boom. Where? Oh! I didn't accept these. Wait a minute. What? I know I accepted these the day before. Damn it. All right, so I'm going to collect on that one. Okay, well, anyway, you saw the thermal paste. That's what all I was going to show you, really. Um, I, like I said, I've actually done that on other things myself, but this this uh, deal here, I recently, let's see. Which one? Missing thermal paste. Hi there, I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim, and it's been overheating whenever I try to do anything on it. I took a look under the CPU, and there's no thermal paste. What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I demand that you fix this for free, and this, this time test the PC before you send it back out. So that's probably why Tim's business failed a little bit. He didn't seem like he was doing everything he should have been doing. So anyway, you know, on this one, you would just open it up, take the cooler off, put the thermal paste on, but yeah. So anyway, uh, that's PC building simulator. It does get a little more involved. When I got right up there to level six, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, email from a person that wanted me to build them from scratch, a computer. And they give you like a price objective to try to stay under. The customer gives you a budget, what they're going to pay you. But then it's like $200 less your objective to try to build it under that. So you got to really get in there and think about, you know, and there's certain specifications that the customer wants. So you got to try to, it's kind of fun going through all the parts and stuff. Uh, I think this game's pretty cool too, because it's got, you know, right now I don't have a lot of stuff unlocked. Like I, I had more stuff unlocked in my other playthrough, obviously, but I mean, it uses real brands, real parts. Uh, and I'm sure these stats are accurate. Um, I mean, I don't know enough about stuff like this to, say oh that's not right um i'm pretty sure that part of it's right are there certain parts of this game that are kind of inaccurate slightly but i think for what it is uh i mean this is fun i played this shit for like six hours the other night i mean i i'd like everybody went to bed and i started playing this to try it out and i just couldn't stop i'm like yeah one more job one more job one more job and it gets fun because you get in the groove of how how the mechanics work and and you start getting fast at it and then like I'd have one uh, computer over here at this bench running a uh, a 3D, you know, uh, what do you call it? A benchmarking program. And I'm working on this one while that's doing that. And then you're throwing shit out the door and getting paid. And, and you got to keep up with the calendar, too. I do wish. See, like this right here, I wish you could click on each individual one of these because it would be useful to be able to see the whole thing. Because I'll be honest with you, sometimes you order five or six things in one day and then you don't know you know you go back and you got three jobs with seven or eight parts in between them and i don't know if they, if they could make that to where you can click on these maybe or just when you hover over them it shows the whole thing um because i don't know I, unless you unless i write it down i'm not going to remember every single little part but once you pick them all up and work on each computer you have all the stuff in your inventory so it does it's just a matter of at the end of the day, it's like, damn, did I order this part? And you look up here and it's only got like the first part of the name. It's like, is that that? Or then you got to go figure out everything you had to order and make sure. So, but, um, I mean, it's a simple game. It, it It's fun. I, I think it's fun. So I'm going to keep playing this. Uh, you know, if anybody wants to see more videos on this, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, give me a comment and let me know what you think. If you've got the game, tell me what you think about it. There's probably stuff that I haven't even thought of that may be wrong with this thing, but I don't know. So 
anyway, that's a PC building simulator, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.